AT&T representatives are meeting with members of the German government in Berlin to discuss Google Street View and other internet services. The core issue, should they be regulated and do they pose a real threat? Das. Let's just say the minister responsible for the internet, that is myself, focuses on the opportunities they provide, while the minister for consumer affairs watches over consumers' interests. If you look at the mountain from two sides, you see it differently. It's all a question of perspective. The mountain in question, the internet, a mass of information, including geographical data, as well as personal details like telephone bills and credit card receipts. Everything is seemingly harmless until the data is linked together. Then you have connections. The simplest one is someone's name or address. You can then add one piece of data to the rest and come up with information you weren't intended to have. You can, for example, see what people in a certain area have purchased. The online telephone directory now links to Facebook pages. You can view people's homes from every angle on the web. This is all provided free of charge on the Internet. But data brokers are also selling detailed personal profiles of individuals. The Consumer Protection Minister thinks that's out of line. We need to ask what data is personal, what must be protected at all costs, how important data can be protected and what infringements of data privacy have to be forbidden. In what some might call a useless PR stunt, Aigna has deleted her Facebook page. She wants new legislation, but whether or not this will help prevent data abuse is questionable. When you hear that 3D satellite images are being taken of the entire surface of the Earth with a resolution of 40 to 50 centimeters and being put online, you soon realize that you can't regulate everything you would like to be able to regulate. The Interior Minister has asked Internet companies to ensure data is safeguarded. And they're promising to do as requested. Self-regulation and mandatory self-regulation are the only ways to make improvements. But whether that will be enough to satisfy the Interior Minister remains questionable. The consumer protection laws in force here in Germany don't prevent data from being collected from outside the country. Data protection experts want to see more stringent regulations. They say if policymakers aren't vigilant, there will be no stopping rampant information technology. Unfortunately, state institutions do have to insist and legal steps have to be initiated if necessary. We cannot depend on the goodwill of a company to make sure important rights like data protection are safeguarded. But it looks as if the public sector might also need to rein in its own activities. Take the town of Zwickau, for example, with its online images of local buildings intended to help assess property tax. You see the government's efforts regarding data protection and the way it's taking Google and Facebook to task. But it seems a bit hypocritical because the state itself is the largest collector of data. The state gathers personal information in a massive way and, something few people are aware of, sells that data like a private company. And it makes quite a lot of money in the process. A growing number of politicians agree the government cannot prevent global data abuse. They say it's better to make people aware of the risks involved when they go online. I think we need to educate people about how to use new media. Users need to know the long-term effects of their actions. Many are competent at using the Internet but don't really know of the lasting implications. Germany's interior minister doesn't want to fight with the IT industry. That would be a no-win situation, because the Internet is global and does not respect national borders. <laughs>